MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. It's Interleague Baseball on MLB Network. Stepping up to the plate, number 68. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Second baseman. Now number here's the 68. pitch. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. One one misses for the second ball. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Popped him up. And there's out number one. Here's Todd Frazier now in past meetings with Jay Happ. Pretty average results. Four for 15. He's taken him deep once. Fastball in there for a called strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Frazier is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left-hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. What a comforting feeling you know it is as a hitter when that pitcher has nowhere to go on the inner half of the plate. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Standing in, Joanna Cespedes. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Cespedes behind the ball in two strikes. Definitely a strikeout situation here with the runner on third. So that's smart. Trying to make him chase that slider out of the zone. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. The 2-2 one more time. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there. And that's the second out of the inning. And now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home. And they'll put the tag on him between third and home. And I don't know. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off for the Yankees, number 11, left fielder, Brett Gardner. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Ball and two strikes now. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Half swing hey. here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Right. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Two one pitches a fastball off the plate away and it's three and one now. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. 
Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed strike three. Giancarlo Stanton now will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. He drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. On could we see another strike out here. It's 0-2 now. Hey, this guy is dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. So we'll see if he can straighten that out. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. In now, Wilmer Flores. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball just a bit high. And a changeup right down the middle. Here's the 1 1. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little, but it bends just foul into the second deck. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. Center First delivery to him on the way. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Right over the middle, knee high. No score here as we play inning number two. Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly it just looked on that last pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is Hicks. Gone! So the base is empty here with one away, and stepping in is the shortstop, Jose Reyes. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here, attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Her ball just misses, apparently, 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. We're in the second. One nothing Mets early on. And he misses again. Ball three. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gardner on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end. Here's Didi Gregorius, career numbers Leading versus Syndergaard. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Fouled away. Gregorius, also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Syndergaard has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters. And when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one.
changeup stays outside and he's behind 2-0. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2-0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good-looking sinker on the inside corner. Missed with a slider. Now the one and one pitch. Taken, strike two. Well, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Count still at one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Popped him up. Flores in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Brandon Nimmo, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. and And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and 1-1. One. The one -one is low and outside for a ball. We got two balls, one strike. Here now the 2-2. Dribbled to the right side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Striding forward now is the DH, David Wright. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Now pitch swung on and missed as they get ahead of right now, 0-2. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Number 60. First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And that one just missed outside. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. The three and one pitch. There's ball four. Ready for another chance. Todd Frazier. He found his way over to third via a cripple in his first at bat. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Now Frazier with a drive. Well hit out to deep left field. Gardner going back into the bleachers and gone. So coming to the plate, Joannis Cespedes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And a high strike there. It's one and one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Looking up is Gardner. And it's out of here. Back to back two out home runs. At the plate, Wilmer Flores. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 